Good morning. It is about 5.30, just getting ready to leave for work. Today we are starting a brand new project. It's a new construction driveway, front sidewalk, uh, an apron in the back of the garage. We're doing a curb and gutter removal and replace. It's a pretty good sized job, but we're gonna get there and just see what we can get done in the weather. It's supposed to be horrible today. It's supposed to be really cold, windy, and it's supposed to snow, believe it or not. But we're gonna fight through it for a little while and just try to get something done. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna take this trash out. I will see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Good work. Okay, it's 5.49 and just pulling up on uh, the job that we covered last night. And it looks like all the plastic stayed in place, even though it's breezy now. I'm just gonna take a peek and get a temperature underneath the plastic. And uh, I know it's nice and warm under there. It didn't freeze. I know that for sure. But I wanna see how much, I just wanna see what it looks like. How much it cured out overnight. That's crazy, there's not even that much moisture under there. That is crazy. Let's get a temperature. 39 degrees. 39.2 under the plastic. So it stayed nice and warm under there last night. Concrete is still pretty soft, believe it or not. So I think what we're gonna do, or what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a couple of the guys come here and uncover it and leave it uncovered during the day today, wash it all off. And then, uh, We'll just see what tonight looks like. It should be should be good. I shouldn't even need to cover it tonight, but I didn't check how cold it's supposed to be tonight. I'm sure it's supposed to get cold. We'll see. So I'm gonna go grab some coffee and get to the yard. Morning. Morning, how are you? Good, how's the coffee business? I don't know. We got all the machines we'll have this on the Yeah, this one's been down. Wait, what's this? Bean the cup? No way. I don't like bean the cup either. No, it tastes weird. Well, at least there's house blend like normal though. Hopefully these are gonna stay. Is that thing ready to go now? I know, but once you're done, it'll be yeah. ready. What was the holdup? I wasn't here, I guess, um, oh, these didn't come in yet. Oh, gotcha. All right, have a good day. Good morning. morning. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Thank you. You're welcome. You have a good day today. You as well. I'll see you next time. All right. Hi, I'm Mizzy. How you doing, Ryan? Good, have a good day. 621, just pulling into the yard, and Eric's here. Eric's going to be proud that he beat me here. He's got the form truck started already, warming it up. He started the Mac too? Man, Eric. Proud of Eric. He didn't start the uh, mesh truck because I have the key. So I will start that. The only thing I can think of that I need is marking paint. So I'm going to grab a can of that and I think we're pretty much ready to go. It is chilly out here. Man. Morning, Big Ray. How you like my Uber? Oh, yeah? <laughs> you know somebody almost killed me. Somebody almost killed yeah, you? I was walking the street, I felt. I had a bad feeling. So I looked right, and this guy was coming at me. No way. And then way. I, I went like this, and I jumped. And he was like this close to hitting me. And my, no and I, my phone way. blew everything, yeah. Man, trying to kill me. That's crazy. They tried to kill me. Oh, Eric, man. are you drinking Coke this early in the morning? Yeah. And a sandwich. Well, it's, it's only 6.30. Starting to snow. Look. Oh, yeah, man. look. Starting to snow. A few flurries. I don't know if you can see them. Snowing. Oh. Starting. I just want to sing, Eric. Let it snow. Let it snow. Let it snow. <laughs> The truck is halfway. Yeah. And the skid steer is a little less than half. 
you should leave now then and go fill you know put some in the truck fill up the skid steer all the way first yeah. just make sure that's topped off and then put the rest in the truck three more jobs we got to go back to that job we did on the lake we got to do that little slab up top remember we didn't do it now we wish we would have done it <laughs> what are you eating now egg rolls Man, Eric's hungry this morning. I'm so real, I'm Two cokes, a sandwich, and egg rolls. Somebody tried to run him over at the car. He said he had to jump out of the way. Who? Ray. On the north side, On the north side yeah. That's crazy, bro. His car? His truck? No, he was walking. Walking to the, to the bus stop. Yeah, and, he, and he, somebody tried to get him. Tino's here. That's cool, you can see it. Yeah. Tino's here. What do you got? Oh, how much do I owe? 25. 25. That's for you and this is for us. Don't be trying to dip into my tamales. This is my supply right here. My supply. <laughs> All right, we're out of here just a little after 6.30. Ray's fueling up. We're going to head over to the job. It's breezy, but the snow hasn't started. It's not terrible right now, honestly. If it starts snowing really hard, which it's supposed to for a little while, it's going to be a little miserable, but so far, we'll be all right. All right, it's 7.03, just pulling up onto the job. And there's a giant dumpster right on the edge of the driveway. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. Not exactly sure. Just push it over so the guy could get it from the road. You know, once this trailer's gone and that sign is gone. So I'll walk you around and show you what we're doing. The client's gonna be here um relatively soon and we're just gonna walk it over one more time so we're doing the driveway curb and gutters coming out all the way um this is in my way right now so we're gonna have to slide this over too so it's a little bit frozen right now hopefully i can dig it up and then around back we're doing a little apron on the garage Hopefully there's enough light you guys can see what's going on here. They already put a little gravel back here, that's kind of nice. We're doing a little apron here on the garage. So that's it, that's the job. Ground's starting to freeze here. Man. Yeah, I said that's the way that's going. I know, we're doing a little apron there. Man, I wonder where the lot line is. There's a stake here, I don't know if this is a lot line stake or not. And there's another one back there too. The people are coming, so they're, they'll, I'm sure they know. Well, maybe they know. It actually makes sense, because if you line those two up, it's right here. Okay, I'm gonna wait for, wait for the clients, and then paint everything out and get started. Oh, the Tino's all right, buddy. You got four tamales already. I have four. Oh. Hey, Tino, he got four. Four already. I said five. Oh. Oh, come on. We, we drink, we eat like seven. Hey, you nice. did? Snowing. Yeah, no, man. man, this is just like the first day we started, remember? Yeah. It's exactly the same. Yeah. When we started in the spring, yeah. the weather was just like this the first day. Oh, it was snowing like crazy. It was cold, windy. <laughs> Big driveway. Whoa! Whoa, whoa! Yeah. You can smell that oil. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You can, it's burning oil. Snow's coming down good now. Yeah. It's like Christmas. Sometimes yeah, we don't even get snow in Christmas. Yeah, yeah that's snow. true. <laughs> With all the tamales, yeah. <laughs> we gotta move this thing, this is in our way. That's good, Tino, that's good. The driveway goes right here. Yeah, it's gonna get heavy through the course of the day. Yeah, it's gonna get heavy. <laughs> Like we add 10 pounds in there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Big race coming up with the skid loader. We're going to get started here. I saw there's one downspout here. So hopefully there's a pipe on the truck. We can slide under the sidewalk. That's the only downspout though. So that's good. Man, it is, it is cold. Well, the clients are a little late. So I'm going to start digging the sidewalk and uh, a little bit on this side of the driveway. I'm gonna leave that driveway over there covered up until about noon. Then it's gonna be above freezing. Then I'm gonna uncover it, rinse it down, and then I might recover it again tonight. All right, clients just pulled up. 
see how hard this stuff is going to be to dig. It's frozen, but I think it's just the crust. Oh yeah, that's fine. It's just the crust. See that? It just started to freeze. It's about uh, three quarters of an inch to an inch thick. Morning. Merry Christmas. Yeah, right? <laughs> Literally, I hope you guys do well. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Yeah, we're gonna set forms today, get as much done as we can. Tomorrow we're just gonna probably pour the front walk and the little apron in the back. Thursday we'll pour the driveway, the weather's supposed to be pretty nice. Okay. And then Friday we'll pour the apron and the curb and gutter. That's okay. the plan. Okay. It's not supposed to rain, so once we get past today, which is just a form setting day anyway, yeah. we're gonna be good. I just wanted you to come so I could draw it out with paint and make sure like, you know, you guys like everything and so forth. So up here we talked about going you know all the way to the pillars okay. so you know make it a little wider up here yeah. probably gonna want to bury that yeah. underneath the sidewalk yeah we will bury it okay so what i'll do is i'll put a pipe underneath the sidewalk okay. here okay. so you have access then and uh whenever you decide to do it landscapers can hook to the pipe so you have that pipe already underneath the sidewalk let's take a look in the back real quick oh so you have french doors that are going to swing out here okay i'm going to keep the concrete down just a little bit okay. i'm going to leave a little bit there's going to be just a little bit of a lip okay. from the outside to the inside because in the winter time frost heave could push it up okay. the concrete could lift a little bit okay. in the winter time and if it lifts up and you have out swinging doors uh, it'll catch on the concrete and you won't be able to open the doors at all. So this side here will essentially kind of follow the line of the gravel. Yeah. These stakes here, I think that's probably your lot line, right? Yeah. Yeah. I was looking at that and it, and it made sense. Look at the snows accumulating on your neighbor's driveway already. That's crazy. I think that's it. Yeah? Yep. So that's it. Today just digging and setting forms we'll see how far we can get or how frozen we can get okay. and then uh tomorrow we'll just pour a little bit finish setting and then thursday will be a big pour day and friday we'll finish up okay. guys okay. guys let's try to be professional in front of the clients okay wait till they leave before we start goofing around <laughs> all right well, we'll get started and if i have any problems if we hit a gas line blow the place up or anything like that i'll definitely just send you a text and some pictures <laughs> Maybe. So. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, have you. have a good day. And <laughs> look at you. Eric looks like he just hit the bank. I'm gonna scrape this down. You guys can set this. Don't lie to me. See if we got one four-inch pipe, and then we need one piece of conduit, because that's gonna be a. Uh, light down here. We're just going underneath the sidewalk. We don't have to hook it all up. Conduit and a four inch downspout pipe. Somebody measure down, snap a line. I got it, I got Eric, somebody, it, yeah. anybody. <laughs> Hold this about the height of the garage floor. Just get it close. About the height of the garage floor. You're like inches low. Set this to the pink string right here. Now about right here, and then it can start to curve. Alright, I'm gonna let them set that. I'm gonna go start working in the back. That little apron set up. If you want to, Ray, you could measure four foot, put a pin, and then measure four foot here, put a pin, run a string so you can get your little straight part straight. You know, and then just flare it and make it look nice up there and then it'll just continue the forefoot here. They were told that the dumpster needs to go 
client was telling me weeks ago and nobody ever took care of it so i'm just gonna push this boulder over and then push the dumpster over Carlito, you know any christmas songs at least not at least not <laughs> All right, they got the water shut off. Actually, I'm I'm right on it. Move it back a couple inches, and that's all I can do. I wanted to shove it all the way over, but the water shut off is right there. That's where it's gotta be. pull up so I can do something with this dirty gravel up here I got nice gravel little Ray come here I'll show you something we got to do this driveway back here so it's a big one as you can see so I'll just go one foot from the jam beyond one foot one foot five foot out we're gonna keep this concrete down about a half an inch we're big Ray Big Ray! Oh, he went to uh, deliver some uh, presents. Oh, he did? Yeah. Is he? He's in the pooper. He's in the pooper. All right, I'll give it a shake. <laughs> <laughs> Pull your truck over here. I'm going to load it up. Pull right here, Ray. Because I'll come on the street and then load it. Spin on the street. That should be fine. Oh, come on, Ray. How am I supposed to load like that? Ray, you got to be like this. side of the driveway dug out might have to go down a little bit more right there i'm gonna run up a string and see Feliz Navidad. <laughs> Feliz Navidad. <laughs> all right what's gonna look good here just going straight going straight's gonna give them the most room that's what we're gonna do this side will be straight that side will be mostly radius I'm gonna go right up to the edge of that uh that grate right there It's a beautiful day, we should get the grill out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure, Tino. <laughs> really beautiful today. Chill. Do something like that. Tell them the truth. This is getting massive down here. No. Eric, on this ray, you're going to have it all the way to here. That's unnecessary to have a 20 foot opening. Why not? It's really hard to do a belly there. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What are you talking? What are you talking about a belly? Keep moving it. Can't make that point. Oh, okay. <laughs> he was funny. Yeah, he's he was su funny. super funny. That was nice. Uh, this needs to be two by six here. Okay. Just start two by six, like about From here. here. Yeah, that should work out pretty good with the elevations. I'm gonna start scraping this side down now. Everything's going good. They'll have this side set up in about. 20 minutes. Little Ray's working on this back here. All I do want to do is get this thing set up. I'm not even going to take the curb and gutter out today. I'm not worried about that. I just want to get this set up because we're going to pour the front sidewalk and then this little piece here um, tomorrow morning. And then we'll set up the curbing gutter. And then Thursday is going to be our bigger pour day. You need any help, Little Ray? No, I'm just going to have a few squares squared up. Oh, okay. Looks good, man. You set this whole driveway by yourself. Oh, man, I'm a <laughs> <laughs> Little Ray's a good dude. Shows up every day early. He's never, never crabby. Never in a bad mood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. He moved that way. How's it going, Big Ray? I think you need a bigger hammer. Yeah, you need a bigger hammer. All right, I'm going to start digging this approach all the way out. Dig down a little bit on this side so we can start forming over here. all that 
that stuff so I can drive through there with some gravel. Thank you. Skid steer, it turns really easy today. Over here. <laughs> you can get this compacted, leave the, leave the yellow line up, put a shut off on this side so we can pour just the walk. Today. Not today. Oh. Come on, Eric, in the he middle of a snowstorm? He told me today. It's like 12 degrees. Today. He told me today. I'll be here for like two days. It's today. <laughs> Concrete won't set up for nothing. Well, well. <laughs> in the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I got everything dug out that I need to. I'm gonna run some strings, get some elevations. These guys can finish setting the forms, we'll grade and get out of here. It's early yet, this is going really fast. Pretty easy job, it's 9.09 right now. Oh, one year ago today. My mom just sent me a text. One year ago today. Wow. Remember the weather? Today? Remember the weather? No way. It was so nice that day, no remember? Way. When I gave my mom the car. No way. Last year. Yeah, it was so nice out. That's don't put don't dumped. put those in yet because I got to figure out exactly where they're going to go with the joints. Okay, okay. I mean, leave it there for now, yeah. but I just don't set like it and, and just leave a piece for there and I'll figure out the joints later. You look cold, boss. I'm not moving that much in the skid loader, that's why. Well, do, just my arms. There's no heater in that one? There is, a, but I don't turn it on because I feel guilty because you guys are in the cold. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't turn it on. Okay, guys are setting this side. I'm gonna start moving some of that gravel that's high down here. We'll start grading. What'd you say? Yeah, just stay put over there. I don't want to see you for a while. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, thanks. Are you sure? I'm sure. So a few more forms ready to grade. It's only 9:30 right now. Nah, we'll just we'll just go right through the road, right through the garage. Yeah, right through here. Or we just take the concrete truck right through here. <laughs> it's small. It's pretty small. We can it's it. super small. It's like two buggies full. Come on. I'm going to check the radar. Hopefully it stops snowing pretty soon. Yeah, it looks like the steady stuff. We're about where the blue dot is. The steady stuff is going to kind of come to an end and it looks like it's going to be more spotty for the rest of the day. When you measure you just measure from there to there oh, okay and if that doesn't work then you use this one and if if you need well, more use this and one and if i flip it oh, oh it's really high now yeah. <laughs> uh oh something's wrong with the compactor I thought this day was going too good. I knew something was going to happen there. Compactors broke. Nah. Yep. <laughs> it doesn't compact anymore. No, it's running. It seems like it's running okay. What's going on? It's a dump for you, dude. Oh, we'll put a jinx on it. 
No vibrates. No vibrates? Are you sure? You broke it, dude. It's coming out of your check. It's probably the belt, but you can't see until you take the cover off. I knew today was gonna was going way too good. I was like, man, this job's going so easy. And then the compactor, bloop. You know why? Because Carlito doesn't know what he's doing with that. Uh, Thank you, Carlito. Hopefully Ray will be back in a minute. I don't want to make a big pile on the street for no reason. No if he's going to be back in a little bit anyway. And then we can finish this and I'll put it in the truck as we need. Huh? Nice gravel. It is pretty decent gravel. Now I got to get another compactor. To the end of the season. <laughs> I know, man. Right at the end. Compactor is like, I'm going to give it to him in his heart. Pow! <laughs> <laughs> Are you almost back? Uh, just starting to get out. It was stuck. There was a pile of like, a yard of uh, stuff stuck in there. I was pulling it out with Jason over here. Who's Jason? The guy over here on um, in uh, certified. So you just left? I'm leaving now. Yeah. All right, push it, man. We're ready for the truck. I got to put this extra gravel in there. We could go home. Okay, I'm coming. If anybody wants a tamale, I got plenty. Oh, you got some money in the Oh, we got so many tamales today. Let me measure for concrete. Use that. Oh, I don't have those. I don't have those here. That's an Allen wrench. You have uh, in your truck? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. In the back, there's a bag. Oh, okay. In the bed, there might be Allen wrenches in there. Okay. I'm not sure, though, honestly. Oh, <laughs> All right. It's okay. We'll put it back. Oh, <laughs> no, it's no good. Well, it can work. Well, I can get it at Lincoln right here. It's not far. Yeah, that's where Style is right here. I can go get a new one. Okay, I am pulling back up on the job. Went to Lincoln Contractors and they did have a belt. Snowing again! Man, look at the little pellets. It's almost like hail. Little ice pellets. All right, we're done for, well, we're done with this job, I should say. After, he, after you help him, you can just go. Whatever he wants, I don't know. Hey, when you no, we gotta go to the other job that we did yesterday. You, Tino, and me. I wanna uncover it. I covered it last night at 10, 10 or 11 o'clock with plastic. The big one? Yeah, by myself, in the dark. You went at 11 at night. Yes, Eric, 11 at night. Why? Because I needed to cover it. It's too cold. You go with Eric. I'm going with Eric. Yeah, back. We gotta stop at we gotta stop at another job for a little bit. I don't wanna go with him. <laughs> it's not your choice. <laughs> What's up? Yeah. yeah, you can go. Yeah? Yep. Adios. That was quick. Yep. That's good. We do have two jobs after this. Yeah? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Close the garage door when you're done. I gotta go. Alright, man. So I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow what time? 6 30 here. Alright, Yep, see you tomorrow. Okay, we're gonna go uncover job I covered and then I'm going to uh, just rinse it down a little bit too. try to start to even out the color because it's gonna have some curing marks just don't know what else to do heading over to the other job and check this out it is coming down this is like a legit snowstorm rate of snowfall right now and I'm not ready for this kind of weather yet all right I am back everybody is this is super slippery <laughs> well, lots of curing marks lots of curing marks plastic's got to come off and uh got to rinse it down unless it starts snowing real hard again one or the other we got to wet the, the whole surface has to be wet it's kind of even it out Oh, here they come, finally. I don't know if those guys stopped for lunch or what. Thanks for showing up. I'm almost done. Man. Tino, grab both those hoses and hook them up. I got to rinse this driveway. Stay over there. Don't walk on the driveway at 30 feet at all. Don't walk on it at all. Just come up here and just roll it all up now, and we'll just throw it in a dumpster. When you got it, just turn it on. You hear the water? Huh? 
Well, go in the basement and turn the thing on. Somebody must have shut it off. <sighs> Carpet guys are here. It can't be that one. That one's turned on. It's, it's really cold out there. Yeah, all these icicles just popped out. Uh, you gotta, you gotta even all, all the curing marks. Oh yeah, 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 I see, I see, I see. There you go. You know, as long as it'll take the wet the driveway with this. I'm gonna be here for the rest of my life. There. Oh, there's some ice. Look. Hey, it's coming out. Yep. Oh, man. What happened to our weather? Whoa. Ho, oh, ho, yeah. Look at that. Now it's going, Eric. Got it. Those are some nice ice cubes, though. Oh, the Coca-Cola right now. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, if we had Coca-Cola right now, we'd be in business. Uh, if you guys got everything, you can go. The holes I'm going to keep here. Uh, actually, no, stay here. I ain't going in the mud. Let me just get it wet. You can turn it off. But the holes are going to stay here because I'm probably going to come and do this tomorrow again, wet it down just to make sure it cures out one color. It doesn't have any curing stripes. See that? Yeah. Very, very mild. Once it's wet, see that? It's all good. As long as when it's as long as when it's wet, it's all the same. You know it's gonna dry even. Covering with plastic could be really dangerous, man. It can leave tiger stripes everywhere. Yeah. I was hoping that snow was still gonna keep going while I was uncovering it, get it all nice and wet. But then the sun popped out. All right, shut it off. Shut it off. Yep, shut it off. Grab three cones, Eric. Oh, put them. Yeah, I'm gonna put them there. Yep, the driveway looks good, thankfully. A lot of extra work because of the cold weather but that sun is that sun is nice right now it's probably mid 30s right now you can see my footprints from last night see that hopefully those will fade out hopefully as the concrete whitens out look you can see my footprints i walked on here last night I seen it. I see you man That's crazy, Ryan. and that was at 10 at night or nine at night or Dude, something i came here twice last night you're always gonna see those now. Oh, they'll fade out. Nah, those, will, fade. those will fade out. Yep, you can see my footprints. They'll fade out. They're not like really, really deep in there or anything. It's just a little scuff on the surface. Comb this off so people don't walk down here. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. All right. Yep, adios. 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 All right, that's it for today. Tomorrow morning, we got concrete at seven o'clock for the walk and that back little uh, approach apron whatever you want to call it and then we're gonna knock out that curb and gutter get that all set up can't really pour anything else tomorrow because I got to get that inspected so we'll get that inspected and then we'll pour on Thursday finish up the approach on Friday all right I'll see you guys in the morning adios all right it is about 5 30 in the evening and I just want to show you what's going on uh, the last time <laughs> I was with you the sun was out we were washing down that driveway with the hose and this is what the day turned into it's been hammering snow we got on the grass we got probably an inch and a half to two inches right now it hasn't really been accumulating too much on the paved surfaces but it is so man <laughs> so tomorrow morning we're pouring at seven o'clock we're gonna have some snow to blow out of the sidewalk in that back area there uh, man and uh, it's about three weeks before we normally get any kind of this weather so it's a little bit early this year all right i just wanted to show you beautiful beautiful wisconsin fall weather <laughs> this is attempt number two my wife trying to make it up the driveway see if she makes it this time gotta go faster no faster oh too slow what you doing <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I almost didn't make here. Oh, I almost didn't make it up the hill back there. I don't want to fly off in the ditch. Ah, it's okay. Get out. Yeah, we were like, Hannah's never going to be able to get home. Was with me. No, Lindsay, Hannah's never driven in snow. It's bad. It's really bad, I know. Yeah. Got to go a little faster next time. Go a little faster. Oh, I bet you're happy, Daniel. Huh? Yeah, the weatherman was wrong. Way wrong. Okay, here she comes.
Got it. Got it. All right, it is six o'clock, and this is the second day since we poured this driveway. You guys saw we washed this driveway off a little earlier, but we had a bunch of snow. Not a bunch of snow. We had a bunch of snow for this time of year, but it all melted off the paved surfaces. But I thought this was interesting. Uh, I got the the thermometer here again, and I'm on the curb and gutter, 30.9, and I'll keep it on and watch this. 32.4. It still appears that on day number two, the concrete is creating a little bit of heat which is interesting. I thought it would be uh, completely done by now. I'm gonna go up here and do the same thing. So we got 30.2 on the fresh concrete, 30.2. We'll move it over. We got 28.9. So there is a difference. This concrete is still making just a little bit of heat. On day number two, let's see, we poured it uh 36 hours ago and it's still making just a little bit of heat all right for the final time i'll see you guys in the morning adios